This was the Horse Whisperer movie. You know, Annie calls him up on the telephone. He was a horse trainer. So they, people called him to train their horses. Well, Annie calls him up and says, you know, I've read this article about what you do for people with horse problems. Tom Booker says, well, the truth is I help horses with people problems. <laughs> it's not the horse, right? It's not the horse. So we don't have people with portfolio problems. We have portfolios with people problems. There's nothing wrong with our portfolios, even when we go through periods of declines. Many investors and advisors cannot stay disciplined. I can, and so can you. Which brings us to green bananas. <laughs> Okay, the incredible shrinking time horizon. I understand that. Frank's not here today, but he just turned 99 this year. And uh, I told this green banana joke when he was 93. And he was sitting in the front of the room. He goes, John, I don't even buy paper by the ream anymore. I buy it by the sheet. <laughs> go, okay, well, you, get, you just one-upped me. So... As a big factor in our recommendation, age is a big factor, but everyone is different. We look at age. Age is important, but we also look at your pensions, your Social Security, other income that you may have, your portfolio size, your budget, are you spending within your means, your tax bracket, your goals and desires. Another big thing, are you being prudent with your spending and invest investments? Is there enough cash outside of your market-based investments to sustain them through downturns? Are you in the right volatility levels? These are all factors, including your age. So this helps determine if you can have some green bananas in your portfolio, and I would say that you can. Regardless of age, unseasoned investors are short-term focused. Mark Matson had a TV program on February 2016, and this investor replied and made a comment on one of his videos. And remember, we were going through that January 2016 and early 2000, uh, February 2016 downturn. And he makes this comment, you are correct, this is not the time for panic yet. He puts that yet in there. And you see up there on their wall, it says it's never a good time to panic. So if you're prudently and broadly diversified, and you're in the right risk level, the volatility level for you, it's never the right time to panic because you're going to sell and cause yourself permanent loss. If you're going to sell, sell at the, an upturn. So he puts that in there yet. So you're correct, this is not the time for panic yet. But thinking long term would be great if we were in my 30, 40, or 50s. I'm in my 70s and need a decent return to avoid running out of my pension before age 85. Should we live that long? Making a 6 to 8% in the next few years to recover what we've lost is not realistic. So, you know, he's, maybe he just started investing and his first period is down. And his immediate thought process is not, can I recover? You know, he's thinking, can I recover? But it's, the thought process is, I'm going to run out of money. That's the main thought process when people are thinking that. So the first 43 days when he was going through that and wrote that, that particular thing, he was minus 8.77% in US large companies during that time period. But he makes one big assumption. Markets can go down fast, but can't recover fast. I'm going to run out of money. I showed you how fast markets can recover. And now looking at hindsight, I think he'd make a different commentary. Hopefully, his advisor stopped him from doing the wrong thing. Hopefully, that was the case. I don't know that gentleman. But he is also extrapolating current short-term returns in the future. If short-term returns are really good, we can't extrapolate that in the future either. If short-term returns are, are really bad, you can't extrapolate that in the future. We have to look at the long-term averages. Be, and, and markets will be volatile from time to time. Returns up or down can happen in very short periods of time. Remember. I went through a 20% downturn in that aggressive account, and then all of a sudden, plus 34. In a quick period of time, it didn't take 10 years to make that 34%. It took four, 14 and a half months. Now I'll bring you back to 73 and 74, because that was recent time periods. 
I, before the recent events, I, I always, you know, went back to this time period because you guys remember the 70s, right? When Carter was around, the oil embargo, and, and Nixon, and Watergate, and, and all that, you know. Yeah, just all the cl crazy inflation, and interest rates were really high. But look at that, S&P 500 in six months was down 10%, and then it followed up by minus 29% in another 10 months can go down fast, we know that. Small caps were down even more. But then look at this, six months plus 42% in 1975. Now was 1975 a great economic period? No, it was not, not good at all. I think uh, we're ready to elect Jimmy Carter, right? And then small caps were up 77% in six months, and then it followed up another 21% in six months in 75 and 76. So you see how fast markets can recover. And this is what I like to show in this, port in this chart too. These are five-year treasury notes and one-month treasury notes. High quality, short-term fixed income. Look at the stability in that. So while all this volatility is happening over here, if we have some high quality fixed income in our portfolio, we have some stability in parts of our portfolio allowing us to rebalance. So even back then it was the same thing. And then you had, you know, you can see how quickly things recover. 2010 minus 16 percent recovery. 2011 minus 19 percent recovery. Minus 9 recovery. Minus 8 recovery. Minus 7 recovery. Minus 12 recovery. Happens often. And that's why we, we want to be in, you know, maybe a more balanced allocation. So then I use myself in exa as an example. If I die tomorrow while the stock markets are down, does it matter to me? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but let's use another example. If the stock markets are down and I live another 5, 10, 15 or more years, is that enough time to recover? Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you can have at least some green bananas in your portfolio, but also have some yellow bananas too. I have yellow bananas. We have a savings account. Everybody should have a savings account. A sizable amount of money outside of the markets to keep you in case you have to ride out a one year or a two year recovery period or something like that. You and I must have a plan and we have to have a long-term mindset and plan on living.